Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'll be showing you how to get the FPS cap over 120 because Drakage recently released a video where he showcased that he's playing on an FPS cap above 120 and he learned that from me. So now I'm showing you how to do it so that maybe he can link this video or I can link this video in my chat, for example. Just as a quick disclaimer, this is technically a disadvantage because if you drop frame rate in any way, you will slow down. So you just want to make sure that you set a frame rate that you can actually hit consistently. And the only advantages you could maybe get with this are also doable with other methods. So to be honest, this whole tweak isn't really the problem. It's just behavior, just like way of coding things. Anyway, to get uncapped frame rate, or well, it's not really uncapped, but you know what I mean. Um, you will want to go to percent local app data percent. This will push into the app data local directory. Go down to Depot Daylight, Saved, Config, Windows Client, and then in Engine.ini, you will want to paste this in to your INI down at the bottom. I will leave this in the description. And then just change the fixed frame rate number to anything that you can comfortably reach. For example, I have a 240Hz monitor, I set it to 240. I can run this game at 240 pretty well, minus a few minor things. So technically, like, a more safe FPS cap for me would be like 180, but kind of doesn't matter to me. Like, 99% of the game I can run just fine at 240. But I could definitely recommend you to set this to whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. It's just like kind of a safe, like, number. You know, your monitor's refresh rate. So you don't accidentally go to high and then, like, frame drop and whatever. And then you want to save this, obviously. And then you'll want to launch DVD again. Now once you're in DVD, you should be able to see, like, with whatever FPS overlay you use that is 240 fps i have both steam overlay and reshade overlay on here and they both show it but i'll quickly show you what i mean with like frame drops causing you to slow down i'll just quickly go into the survivor tutorial just make it easy so as you can see my game is still running at 240 it feels really smooth and it's honestly like really nice to play on i wish this was base kit hopefully behavior can add 240 or higher base kit soon just so that we don't have to do this weird ass tweak I will be using River Tuner just to showcase this real quick. So, as you know, my game runs at 240 right now. But let's say I put it to 120, which is currently the max official cap in Depot Daylight. You'll see that now my frame rate is at 120, but if I start running, you can see I am very slow. So, the mouse movement still feels fine, that's like no problem, but the game's like actual logic is now running at like half the speed, or maybe even slower, I'm not sure. But it is really slow, and obviously this will be a disadvantage when you're in chase to drop frames because you'll be slower and you'll not make the tile whatever the fuck so do use this at your own risk you will not want to use this if you are very like competitive or you really care about so like that. i don't know i like for example if you play in tournaments i would not recommend using this just because of this like slowdown thing you know and it can literally cost you a match but yeah that's pretty much how you get whatever fps cap you want like i said don't go too high because if you drop frames you slow down and yeah that's it Hopefully you can get some enjoyment out of this. And again, hopefully they just add it in the game sometime soon that you can go over 120 FPS. Anyway, bye-bye.